There are so many benefits to riding solo. You can go out whenever you want, wherever you want. You're not gonna get dropped or half wheeled and well, the list goes on. So in this video, I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks. So when you decide to enjoy the beauties of riding solo, you can do so with confidence. Right, listen up. Piss poor preparation equals piss poor performance. A quote worth remembering, even for us cyclists. Dress inappropriate for the riding and the weather conditions could leave you in a cold, wet and miserable state. And then overdress can leave you in a hot and sweaty mess. Things that we're gonna want to avoid. So the best piece of advice I can give you is before heading out on your solo bike ride, check the weather kept the duration that you're planning to ride and the route. That way you can make an informed decision on what you need to wear. So what I suggest you do is layer up with a base layer and then some thin outer layers. And the other top tip I can give you is bring a rain cape with you. Now you never know when you're gonna get caught out in an unexpected rain shower. So having one of these to keep you dry out there is also imperative, but it does come in handy when you're going down a descent and it gets a bit chilly and this helps keep that wind chill off. Got it? Yeah, I thought you might. Now, if you're like me, and you're used to riding in a group, then it's really easy to lean on your friends or fellow riding buddies when it comes to flat tires and punctures. You know, the mindset of, you're just gonna go and risk it. I'm not gonna puncture. Today? Me? No. And then this happens. And then you find yourself stranded with a dreaded flat tire in the middle of nowhere, with no way to fix it. So don't make the same mistake I make and make sure you go out on the bike prepared. Now a good top tip is to take a saddlebag. With that, you wanna take a mod tool, a spare inner tube and a pump and maybe some levers too. That way, if you do come in contact with a puncture, you can fix it on the go without making that embarrassing phone call to your loved ones asking them to pick you up. Um, now for my phone call. Mum, can you come pick me up? Yeah, I've forgotten my punch repair kit. Now, wherever you are, I would highly recommend you plan a route. There are so many apps out there that can help you do this. We at GCN use Komoot. Now, the benefits of planning a route is that you can see the duration the bike ride could take you. You can plan climb so you don't get caught out on a big mountain top that you weren't expecting. And you can pace your effort knowing how many kilometers it is to finish the whole entire route. But more on the pacing a little bit later. Right, I didn't quite plan this big climb. Bloody hell. A smart bike computer is a great way to track your ride, knowing how far you've been, how far you're going, what speed you're at, and a whole host more. You can also take the route you've planned, download it onto your bike computer, so you get turn-by-turn -turn directions every step of the way, meaning you can totally zone out while riding solo. Yeah, gadgets nowadays. Food is fuel, and without it, we rapidly lose energy like gas in a car, without it, it just grinds to a halt. And we're very much the same. And riding solo, it's even more important to maintain those energy levels. I like to eat around about a bar or a gel, or even a jam sandwich or a rice cake every 20 or 30 minutes to make sure I maintain those energy levels. Or I just plan a cafe stop, like this one, halfway through my ride. Right, bottoms up. Hmm. Now keep your energy levels up. It's gonna help us avoid the dreaded bonk. You know when we run out of energy, go into the red, in and out, try to crawl home. But it's not just solids we need to keep an eye on, it's also fluids. Make sure we're hydrated. It's also imperative to keep you up our performance. Top tip, fill some bottles up and try and drink a bottle an hour. 
that should keep you nice and hydrated and your performance consistent. Right. Ah. There we go. Now, as we've seen in this video, there's so many benefits to riding solo and being on your own, but we also want to make sure we stay safe when we are riding solo. Now, there are loads of different emergency apps out there that ping your location in the event of an accident. But what I would suggest you do is share your route or your planned ride with your loved ones. Maybe even share your live location. That way they know exactly where you are at any given time. So you can ride on your own solo without being totally on your own, knowing that someone's got your back. Also remember though, is a phone, obviously, and also some money. Those two tools will get you out of, well, the majority of sticky situations. Right, back to riding on my own. Solo, alone, alone, alone. Oh. Pacing our rides is imperative, especially when riding solo. When riding in a group, we can get away with pushing ourselves that bit more, especially on the climbs. Because if you're really suffering, you can use your fellow riding buddy's wheels to sit on to get you home. When riding on your own, you're on your own pushing the wind. So when it comes to climbs, steep ascents, or hard headwinds, just ride in yourself. Hold a little bit left in the tank so you can make it home. Moving on nicely from pacing, the great thing about riding solo is we can go easy when we want or hard when we want without upsetting the group we're riding in. So we can utilize this by adding in some effort or intervals. Now, if you want to have a look at some training profiles or some training programs, then have a look on the GCN YouTube and it'll give you some ideas of what kind of efforts that you can integrate into your ride to make yourself fitter and stronger. I've got a hell intervals and I'll tell you what, they're not easy. <laughs> So there you have it, my top tips for riding solo. I hope this has helped give you the confidence to enjoy the beauty of riding on your own. Let me know in the comment section below, give it a big thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video. Woo -hoo -hoo!